suggestion of a nuclear power plant accident inside the Soviet Union. When officials decided to evacuate 600 workers from a nuclear power plant 60 miles north of the Swedish capital. Then a meltdown at the nuclear reactor in Chernobyl what had occurred in a second reactor at the Chernobyl complex. Smoke and steam billowing from the damaged plant indicate that a fire continues to burn out of control inside. know what nuclear power is? 22% of people aren't sure. So it actually starts from the very beginning, which is mining of the uh, uranium ore, which then has to go through a process of purifying and enriching that uranium to give it the necessary qualities to be used by a uh, nuclear reactor, but also turns out to be the same process that goes into making nuclear bombs. That uh, fuel then has to be packaged and uh, put into fuel rods and into the right kind of configuration that it can be used for power and then be transported to the nuclear power plants where the plants themselves obviously require a substantial um, amount of energy to actually construct. Uh, fuel is then placed in the nuclear reactor where it's uh, used to boil water and then it's radioactive waste then has to be handled and taken care of for you know upwards of uh, hundreds of thousands of years. The first nuclear reactors were uh, developed for the Navy, Navy nuclear propulsion and we had the emergency blow. We had fires, oxygen, bleed systems, uh, we had one ignite. Um, we had failures of temperature detectors. Temperature detectors are important. Would you live within a one mile radius of a nuclear power plant? No. 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 No, I would not. No. I wouldn't choose to. No. No. Absolutely, positively, no way. Fukushima nuclear power plant before the 2011 earthquake and tsunami struck Japan. Afterwards, a nuclear meltdown. Does the world need nuclear power? No, absolutely not. I mean, Japan had 54 reactors and now it's only got one operating reactor and soon that will be shut down and they're getting on fine, except that they're now all radioactive. Don't call it an incident. That's the, a euphemism the nuclear power industry is. An accident. Um, there will be probably more than a million people dying over the next 70 years from cancer and leukaemia. I think it's going to mean the end of Japan as an economic power. Um, and I think over time it's going to mean the end of nuclear power. Certainly China's very allergic to it now. Germany's going to close their reactors down by 2022. Switzerland's out. Belgium's thinking of it. Italy, 80% of Italians voted against nuclear power. And there's now new data from Germany and France to show children under the age of five years living less than two um, miles, two, three miles from a nuclear power plant had more than double the incidence of leukaemia and a high incidence of solid cancers. It's indisputable that, that nuclear power plants give off uh, radiation. Does nuclear power decrease our dependence on foreign oil? Nuclear power is not the solution for, for that problem. One, in that many of the people that are producing the uranium are not, you know, here in the United States. We don't have sufficient resources here able to meet our own needs. So we're getting those from other countries, places like Kazakhstan. So um, it doesn't really help us in that sense. And on the other hand, is that in if we're really looking at long-term independence, then any kind of non-renewable resource is potentially putting our national security in place. Indian Point is unique. Unlike any other nuclear facility, two reactors operate here in the most densely populated area of the United States. The reactors are 43 miles from ground zero, and we now know the terrorists originally targeted nuclear power plants. 
More than 300,000 people live in the 10-mile radiological emergency evacuation zone. 17 and one-half miles marks the peak fatality zone. 20 million residents are within a 50-mile radius called the peak injury zone. 8% of all Americans live within 50 miles of Indian Point. If the entire world's electricity projection were replaced today by nuclear energy, there would be less than nine more years of accessible uranium. How do people see nuclear power? Well, I think that they've been very brainwashed about it. I think that the nuclear industry has spent hundreds of millions of dollars through the Nuclear Energy Institute to convince people that it's clean, green and sustainable. Those three statements are lies. More electricity that is cleaner, safer and made here in America. Part of the answer is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy facilities in 31 states already provide electricity 24-7 for one in five homes and businesses. And nuclear energy is America's largest source of clean air electricity. The nuclear industry lies and lies and lies. And it's everywhere with beautiful children jumping into streams and, you know, the same sort of propaganda that is used to brainwash people uh, on things that are really bad for them. If you uh, mobilise your school, kids at your school, and start a, start a huge movement of children across the United States, that could be extremely powerful. So through renewable technologies can be a variety of things. They can be a source of revenue, a way to reduce energy costs, and provide a secure energy supply, but also to provide evidence of a commitment to sustainability on a social level, a lot of the studies they've done with solar, let's say one person uses it in an area, um, then you kind of find that there is a, uh, a viral nature to it that others that see it used or will, will do it as well. power plant. No. <laughs> I wouldn't prefer to live within a mile uh, if one was built near me. I, let's put it this way. I wouldn't move to a place where there's nuclear power point plant in one mile. Wait, what are we doing? The world need nuclear power. No. We like to live within one mile of a nuclear power plant. No.